we bring melodies. What is happening, friends? We are over here having a silly goose time, and we are also going to get into the Peg Leg Porker eight-year bourbon whiskey from the great volunteer state of Tennessee. What do you know about that? Let's... We don't need much intro on this. Let's crack this biatch. Friends, 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 friends. We are doing the Peg Leg Porker eight year today. A um, couple of notes about Peg Leg Porker, I think. Um, so Peg Leg Porker is actually a restaurant. Um, uh, believe it or not, a barbecue restaurant. Uh, and it's, um, where is it, Tennessee, Nashville? Nashville, Nashville, Nashville. Just says Tennessee. Um, yeah. I don't remember. It's in Tennessee, the great state of Tennessee. Indeed. Um, it's, it comes from a restaurant and the, the gentleman behind it is a pit master who lost his leg at a young age and that's why we have the peg leg porker. So um, if you read some things online about peg leg porker, you'll find people speculating where the actual source of it is and most people kind of landing on um, it being sourced from Dickel. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, so you already had a whiff. I did. What hits you first? Well, spice. It's very zesty. Spice. It's zesty and up front. We we're, were talking about name suggestion. I kind of smell a, a sweet and salty. So I'm wondering how much of that will come through in the taste. Mm -hmm. Can you, do you get any of that? On I the, do. On the nose? I do. I, again, it's hard to tell if you're being, if you're being uh, manipulated into believing something based on the suggestion by a name or something you read. Mm -hmm. But I do know that um, hickory is a part of their process, mm -hmm. and hickory is also popular for smoking meat. Mm -hmm. um, so we have, it's possible yeah. that you have some of that kind of pork coming through, or that, like you said, that salty but sweet, the sweet meat of the pork with the, with the salt of the seasonings mm -hmm. and then the hickory and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so it is interesting. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I can mostly smell it up here towards the front. Yes. You know, it's not a big back smell. It's like right here. Yeah. <laughs> Real yeah. high up it in the lives, center. It lives right here. Yeah. It lives right before you would get a COVID test. That's exactly right. It lives like right there before that thing hits your brain where yeah. they hit you with a COVID test. Yeah. You going for it? Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm going to tell you what I'm, what I'm expecting from this. Okay. I think we're going to get some burn on the end. I feel a little bit of a burn. I do get a little bit of, of zesty, like you said, like lemon zest mm -hmm. almost. Like mm -hmm. Something bright. So I feel like bright in the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, pretty deep flavor, but uh, in the middle, and then I feel like you're going to have some afterburn here. I don't right. think it's going to be I hope smooth. the burn is nice and diffusive from the front out. Yes. You know what I mean? I hope I don't get one of those. <laughs> yeah, know, right. Uh, Heartburn burns, like yeah, it just comes right, up exactly. from underneath, you know? Yeah, we like to call that the Zantac effect. Yeah. You know, I want that. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting that zest in the front. Interesting. And I think there's going to be some afterburn. There is almost like a little bit of herbal yeah, zest right. up front there. Right. It's like Garnier Fructis. That's not true. You don't want it to smell mm. like shampoo. I do like the smell though. The smell. I actually find the smell quite pleasant. Yeah, yeah. I could put that in an air freshener in my car and be pretty stoked about it. And I'd, I'd probably get pulled over a lot more, um, <laughs> or at least I'd be suspect. <laughs> A lot more when I got pulled over, I should say. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Let's see. Slancha. So I got the burn. Very cool. I got the burn. I, I definitely had some afterburn there. I feel like that was I was correct there. I'll tell you, I got a hell of a lot less burn than I expected, mm. based on the smell. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, maybe a touch of vanilla. Maybe. There's a lot of stuff going on here, I think. Like most bourbons, right? Yeah, there's, yeah, for sure. Got a lot of different things happening. I feel like there's a touch of vanilla. It definitely has bite. It coats the tongue. For sure. Interesting. I wouldn't I say... I do still say I taste something herbal. Mm. I smelt something like that. I'm tasting that again. Mm. On the second and third sips, when you chew it, when you give it a nice chew, that's where I'm feeling that that uh, vanilla. I'm also feeling uh, less of that afterburn than if than if you just take it down straight and you give it a little chew. No, that's right. Let some of that air out. Yeah. It's syrupy. It is syrupy though. You can even see you can even see in the cup, right? You can see in the glass the the way that it it clings to the sides somewhat. Yeah. I think the chew helps with the syrup. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta break that up. Mm. I like it. Mm. I like it. It's really interesting. I would call this a situational bourbon. So what's the situation? The situation is, is like a barbecue. Like okay. an outdoor event, summertime, somebody's smoking some meat, you got burgers or something like that, everybody's having a great time, you're outside. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is the situation for that type of bourbon. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'd, I'd come home every day or, you know, whenever my, like my nightcap. I don't think this is my nightcap drink. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. understand? I will say something interesting is that the taste is only staying around in the tongue. It's not staying on the inside mm. of the lips. It's mm. I can't feel it coating anything else but the tongue. It's really staying on the tongue, but like not really the, the lips. Not, yeah, see, I, 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 like I, I, I don't have cheeks. anything left in the cheeks. Nothing in the cheeks? It's just going for the tongue, which I like. Hmm. Yeah. You know, it's funny, it's peg leg porker, right? Of course, you think of barbecue, you th or you think of a you know, true pit master type barbecue, you think of a big old thing of pork, you think of some nice, thick cut cured bacon. Like I would love with that right now. A I was big, gonna say, how would it pair with bacon? A big, thick cut of bacon, just with like some maple on there, would be, I think it'd be beautiful. Mm -hmm. with that. I think it would taste mm -hmm. tremendous. Mm -hmm. um, with something like that, or other cured meats, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But that were a something little to cut the... through with the salt. Exactly, exactly. I think that I think that would be a. a great it's a thing. heavy tongue coat. Yeah, it's a <laughs> it's a heavier damn bird. hefty. It's a heavier bird. tongue coat for sure. <clears throat> um, so what are we dealing with here, guys? Uh, Forty-five percent alcohol by volume. So we're talking ninety proof. Um, you know, take that as, as you may. That I'm not a proof. I'm, I'm not a proof guy. Like. Some people are super snobby about the proof. If it's not over, you know, 50% alcohol, I'm not touching it. You mm. know what I mean? Like they need that. And there's a whole, there's a whole kind of, I don't, I don't know what you call it, troll farm online. who's <laughs> just all about the proof. Like, do you like the taste or don't you? Yeah. That's what matters. You know what I mean? So um, I'm not a snob, I'm not, I'm not into the snobbery when it comes to pretty much anything, but especially the proof uh, of, a, of a booze. Mm -hmm. Um, so again, I think this is a great situational one. You're having some, you're having some heavy meats or some or some cured meats, I should say. You're having that, that smoky meat. I would I would totally have this with somebody doing like a like a pork butt. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. totally do this. Mm. There's something way back here <clears throat> in the aftertaste mm. that I'm not sure I like yet. It's way back here, almost like a medicinal. Yeah. Vibe. I don't oh, know if we're getting yeah, you're the right. same. No, I am now. It's way back here. <laughs> it lives. Yeah. I don't think I want to find that. It sneaks up. Yeah. I don't want that. Yeah. I don't want that to come to play. Uh uh. I don't like that. So on a verdict. Uh huh. Is this slap your mama good? Hmm. I gonna think it would be a verbal scolding. Okay. Okay. What's yeah. The... Yeah. You ain't slapping the mama on this one. You might. Oh, finger wag. You're gonna give her a finger wag. You know, <laughs> you wouldn't. You wouldn't slap your mama to get to this, but you might talk to her in a very stern manner. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> I understand that. Totally makes sense. Yeah, I was I was gonna come right out and say that, that to me this is not slap your mama good. This is not um, like if you were given an A, B, or C, mm -hmm. like if you were given out grades, mm -hmm. solid B plus. I will say that I like the body of it more so than a lot of bourbons because mm. a lot of bourbons just try to burn hot. Sure. And I like, you know what I mean? Just hit you with all the cinnamon and all the spice and everything nice and mm. just kind of burn you out in the front end. Sure. This isn't as gratifying on the front end with real intense flavor, but I think it does hold some more body, especially as you drink it more, you feel sure. full almost drinking this. So, and that's, that goes with that, that coating like we were yeah, saying, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Like it, is, exactly. it does have some heavy heaviness to it. Yep. For sure. Yep. Um, so not slap your mama good. Um, definitely not two slaps but uh, a solid B plus. Now, the only other thing is this is not the cheapest bourbon that you can get for the taste that I'm getting. Truth. Right? Yep. So um, this bourbon pushes $80, kind of depending on where you are. Um, you're in that 70 to 80 range. And for the money, I think there's bourbons that deliver maybe even a better flavor mm -hmm. for the value. Yep. Right? Yep. So that's that's something to think about. It's true. You know, if you're if you're on a fifty dollar budget, you might want to look into something like uh, the Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit, which right. we had earlier in your trip here, and it's, it's fantastic. Phenomenal. Yep. Don't turn your nose up at that just because it's wild turkey and it's not some little niche thing. It is a fantastic bourbon, especially for the price. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's really, really good. Yep, and just follow your nose and follow your tongue. I mean, there's a lot yep. of space, there's a lot of wiggle room in, in bourbons. And, Find what you like and, and yeah. go for it, man. Yeah. You know? But yeah, if you're if you're on a budget, uh, I would not say go out and get the peg leg pork or eight here. Right. I, I, I would agree. Yeah, but if you are, if you've got a little bit more disposable income and you're into trying something new, trying an experience, um, and you, you're maybe interested in pairing it with something and you like a story behind your bourbon, because I will say there's a wonderful story behind the bourbon. Yep. With the pit master and everything else uh, yep. going there. Uh, what is his name? Kerry, uh, is it Kerry? Does it say on the back of here? Yeah, is Kerry Bringle. Kerry Bringle. And he's the pit master up there at Peg Lake Porker in yep. Tennessee. Yep. Um, so, uh, that, you know what? We need to do that. That would be a fun trip. Mm -hmm. From Atlanta. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, anyway, so that's our video for today, guys. Solid B to B plus for the Peg Lake Porker, but if you're on a budget, there's probably some bourbons that will be a little more um, agreeable with your wallet deliver the same level of flavor yeah, and maybe even more. Yep. Yep. But it's still a good one. Um, you know, we don't ever, I don't ever like to talk trash on any anything you drink, right? It's it's no. finding its own audience. Someone could love this, this I totally might, get it. This might be somebody's, this might be somebody's like special occasion, they love it, bourbon. And yep. if that's you, that's totally fine. I'm never gonna talk trash about a bourbon. We just wanna give you a, give you our ideas on it. So mm -hmm. solid bourbon for the price. I think there might be some other things out there if you're looking to explore the flavors. That's the video for today. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. If you haven't already, head down, hit that subscribe, hit that like. Let us know in the comments if you've had peg leg porker, what your opinion is. See you on the next one.